Hey, this is Dragon Feather, and I'm here to be making a video of the February Q&A. Um, I am cool and using my DS to look at your guys' questions, um, which speaking of my DS, I had some issues with getting Pokebank and Poke Transporter up and working, so I kind of have a bit of an issue, and uh, it changed my friend code because I had to format my DS because I had to make like a Nintendo account or something, and mine was already linked with a uh, Vanilla de Villas, so um, it was an issue, so I had to format my DS. So now I have an entirely new friend code, so I'll leave that in the description box below, and then I have to go to the other video and change that friend code. Um, but if you were one of the people who registered me as a friend, sorry about that, but you're gonna have to re register me because I had some issues. Um, hopefully, that's not too big of a deal. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, you guys, um, but it hopefully won't be that big of an issue. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, the first ones are from Tumblr and the first person is Shadow Panther 25 and he asked, correct me if I am wrong, but in a video of yours you were playing Yu-Gi-Oh, right? I think you also mentioned it in a video. If so, what type of deck do you have and how long have you been playing? I have not played and collected Yu-Gi-Oh cards in such a long time and I just started to get back into it. Um, I do play Yu-Gi-Oh. I play Yu-Gi-Oh quite competitively actually. Um, I really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun and uh, the deck that I use is a deck that Vanilla Devilla actually made um, and it is a Time Lord deck. Uh, with a light sworn engine and it is just so overpowered. It's retarded um, If you get the right plays you can have a 19 um, K OTK. It's ridiculous um, And it's so much fun to run um, but then when he uses his deck. I usually run a chaos dragon deck, so uh, That's pretty fun um, the next person asked, this was an anonymous one, um, it says, what do you think of protective hex bags? Um, I think they can be very, very helpful. Um, I think they can do a lot of good and can be kind of a challenge if you don't really know how to use them. Um, I know Vanilla de Villa has put so many freaking, like, protective hex bags around where I live and in my room and blah blah blah, and it's kind of a little redundant, but he does it and I don't really care. So it's, it's kind of... It's kind of a thing. Have I ever used one? No. But he uses them all the time, apparently. <laughs> so, um, the next one is Bring Me the Dreams asked, Hey Dragonfeather, do you know anything about fairies and their connection with the elements? Thanks. Uh, I honestly don't know much about fairies at all. The only thing, the extent to my knowledge of fairies is that they're cute, um, they're tiny, and that dragons protect the gates to the fairy world. Um, and that's all I really know, and I will do a lot of research on fairies, and I'll do a, a video on fairies if you guys would like me to, so, um, leave a comment or something if you want me to make a video on that. Um, these ones are from Facebook, and, uh, Tyler, uh, I cannot pronounce these, you guys, I'm sorry, um, he asked, or she asked, how do you become a Wiccan? Um, there are many different ways to become a Wiccan, and a lot of people will disagree on this. I honestly believe that if you just start practicing the principles, um, start researching the uh, religion, and start really putting it into practice, that's how you become a Wiccan. Um, but some people would say that you need to be initiated by a coven, you need to do your year and day. Um, it's really up to you um, how you go about that. Um, Kayla Renee Moore asked, the easiest way to meditate. I found that the easiest way to meditate is actually by taking a bath or a relaxing shower, turning out the lights, lighting some candles, and just either listening to the shower, the water of the shower, or putting on some meditative relaxing music. That has been one of the easiest and most effective ways that I have been able to meditate. Um, Sufian Ayid, I think that's how you pronounce his name, asked, what do I do with crystals? Um, you can do anything with crystals. You can use them for charms, you can use them for protection, you can use them in spells, you can use them for anything. Um, but I think the most popular thing to do with crystals is to do crystal healing, um, and to use them in certain spells and on your wands. Um, so yeah. Um, Jacob Dow asked, what is your opinion on Satanism? Criticize or glorify it, it doesn't matter because we all would like to hear your opinion. Um, I've actually done a, I think a while ago I've done a few videos on Satanism or just briefly going over the, uh, Satan, the topic of Satanism. Um, I know a lot of, I know that there's a lot of different, um, types of Satanism and I know that not all of them are evil as a lot of people, including pagans, would say. Um, I think that it's cool. I think that as long as you are not effing with me, um, then 
go for it. <laughs> um, I don't really know much of, about the religion, um, but I do have a Satanist friend, so I, I really think it's cool. If that's what floats your boat and spirituality, go for it. Um, Holy Blackwell asks, will you please make a video about Greek Wicca? Mm. Yes, I will. I am researching it still, and um, it will be up very soon, hopefully. Um, Shannon Carroll asks, do you have a spirit guide? Yes, I do have a spirit guide, and I don't think I've done any videos on spirit guides necessarily, but if you guys would like me to do one on it, um, I'm more than happy to, to do one on, um, them. And... The next one is, what's Wexican Draken asked, do schnozberries really taste like schnozberries? And I don't know if schnozberries taste like schnozberries because I've never tasted a schnozberry. You'd have to let me know. So, that's that. Um, Donnie Granda asked, favorite TV show and movies? Okay, I can't pick a favorite and you guys might be like, oh my god, but you have to pick a favorite. Um, I'm not going to. I'm just going to tell you the things that I like to watch. As of right now, I'm addicted to Supernatural and Weeds. Weeds and Community. Those three are like my favorite TV shows right now. They're so entertaining and oh my gosh, I like them. Um, and then my favorite movie would have to be the Free Willy movies. Um, pretty much any movie that has to do with killer whales is like my go-to movie. Um, I love Spirit, um, Stallion of the Cimarron by DreamWorks. Um, I also am a big fan of Pokemon 2000 because Lugia is in it, duh. Um, and those are the only movies that I can really think off the top of my head that I really enjoy right now but I also like oh there's this new movie out called um thanks for sharing uh pink is in it um and I really like that movie it's about addiction and it's like a heavy movie I'm pretty sure it's rated r and uh it's really psychologically fucked up so it was a a thing uh Jason Yelvington I think that's how you pronounce his last name um is how do you handle evil entities when um this is actually kind of a more in-depth video but i'm just going to give you guys a brief thing um the way that you handle evil entities is if you are not in a place to handle it on your own you need to contact other people for help um but if you want to if you are in a place where you can handle it on your own i suggest like i said using a bunch of protection spells using a bunch of banishing and binding spells on this entity and if they still cause you problems then try to ask them what they want and why they're bothering you um so that could be kind of dangerous. Be careful. Um, that's my main advice is please be careful because it's not something to fuck around with. Um, Jacob King asks, do you have any advice for doing a YouTube channel? Sorry about the unrelated topic. Just started my channel a few days ago and I'm curious if there's any hidden techniques. Honestly, when you first start out a YouTube channel, like when I first started out mine, um, nobody fucking knew who I was. Um, and I would post literally 12 videos a day just to get content out there. And um, I would link it to all my other social media accounts, like my Facebook page, my Tumblr, you know. I, those kind of came later, but I mean like with my personal Facebook, I kind of promoted it with some of the people who I knew um but really the main thing is is just to get content out there don't make it shitty content make it quality content but just try and do your best to excuse me um do that and comment on other videos um like of the same kind of thing either do video responses um I did a lot of video responses in the beginning and uh, comment um, and join the community in the type of topic that you're doing. So if you're doing a gaming thing, then comment on people who have gaming videos. Don't promote yourself because that's fucking annoying. But just like get involved with the conversation in the comment section. Um, Marcus Farrar, I don't know if that's how you pronounce their last name. Um, he says, Christian Wicca, I don't remember if you've done this already. I actually have done a video on Christian Wicca. Um, you can just... Uh, uh, what's it called? Search my channel and it'll pop up. Um, and the last one is Joshua Jordan said, why are there not more videos of your cat? Um, if you want me to make more videos of my cat, I am more than happy to. Um, she is not the greatest uh, photogenic type of animal in the world. She kind of doesn't like being bothered ever. So um, if you guys want me to make more videos on anything or even um, I can do videos on how to do crystal healings on animals and I can use her if she'd let me. Uh, we'll see about that one. Um, but I'm more than happy to attempt it. So um, I'm more than happy to make videos with Keisha in it. Uh, I'll try and do some more with her in it, uh, get her involved, because apparently you guys like my little black stereotypical cat. Um, but yeah, 
that's all for this Q&A. Again, if you guys have any other questions, please ask me again, and I will answer them in my next Q&A, my March Q&A. Um, and I upload these at the end of every month. So, um, yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, leave them below and let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And until next time, blessed be and